It's uh, day 59. I am uh, at the end of a rest day. Uh, too busy to find a spot to uh, record a video. It was a good day. I uh, spoke to about a thousand kids over the two schools and three talks. And I spoke to the newspaper and television. And hopefully I'll talk to the radio tomorrow. I'll give them a call. Um, kind of getting the hang of all that now. Um, I'm still learning a lot though about um, tailoring what I say to different age groups. Um, Year 12s I have no trouble talking to. A lot of the things that I have to say and my story and um, the morals and messages that I try to send resonate particularly well with them. Um, year four or five like primary school groups I've spoken to and look I just talk about the fun stuff with them I talk about the adventure and simple things and they really enjoy that too and I find that easy to do but today oh, and I talked to a year eight group and um, I didn't know which of the two to do it was the hardest audience to talk to because I felt like a whole lot of the stuff was just going over their heads because I tried to pitch it at a, at a year 12 level but a lot of the things I talk about about like um making opportunities as opposed to taking them when you leave school. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, um, that's right, I'm learning along the way, which is good for me. And, um, yeah, uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about, um, what I did today, significant, is I bumped up the uh, target from $10,000 to $20,000. And... The reason that's important is because it's something I probably should have done for a long time now, and there's a number of reasons why I hadn't done it to this point. And um, look, a couple of those are maybe one, I was a bit in denial about how far I actually still have to go, and it seemed, you know, almost impossible to get to the 20,000, you know, in the time frame. But that said, if I'm not halfway, then the time frame is still huge, and it's just totally logical that. If I'm a bit over 9,000 now, 20,000 is just a reality. Um, but, you see, other things creep into it. Um, to say even that, it uh, irks me to say, oh, it's just a reality, it's just going to happen. Like, I have an expectation that you listening to this is just going to go straight out and make a donation. Like, um, I don't mean to have those expectations. I, um, hmm... So some of the things I've been thinking about um, is, say, the difference between confidence and self-esteem or feeling of self-worth. And you might have noticed I have plenty of confidence, um, but funnily enough, I don't necessarily have that much uh, belief or self-worth or self-esteem, in a sense, and yeah, I'm sure you find that hard to believe, but anyway, it's um, there was something weighing on my mind as if um, I wasn't worth um, twenty thousand dollars. You know, like that's different from I can make it to the cape. That's not a feeling of worth. That's a, just an ambition and a goal that I want to achieve. But um, whether other people, you know, an external force are going to enact a change on my life, which is the reaching $20,000, was uh, something I was having trouble with. And I gave it some thought and thought, you idiot, Brad, it's not about you. Don't be selfish. It's <laughs> You're a goose. It's about people who are suffering from mental illnesses. I was like, get back to reality. It's what I can do um, to spread a message uh, for their sake. And um, really, it's not a measure of my own worth. It's a measure of how well I can market what I'm doing so that people know about it, so the right people who do want to make a change and want to help hear about it and uh, feel inspired to do so. So, look, that's what it's a measure of. And I've taken it in my stride, but I, I take it upon myself and I'm going to try and reach, reach that goal as well. That's all I got to say. All right, uh, more rest tomorrow, and uh, then I'll get moving the day after. Thanks for listening.